Well, hello again, and welcome back to our show that we've called The Whole Life, as we are finding God's rhythm for our spirit, soul, and body, based on 1 Thessalonians 5.23. Be made whole in your spirit, soul, and body, and um, such a all-encompassing subject, really, um, this idea of the whole life. Um, yeah. And last time we touched on um, a what I believe to be a spiritual issue, which is your uh, seasons of life. And then this is episode three, the third one. Yeah. And uh, we're going to be talking about an aspect of our soul uh, that um, Tara and I have worked extremely hard on. Mm -hmm. And uh, an aspect of our soul, uh, which is marriage. And uh, we figured this would be a, a fun conversation in some ways. Uh -huh. Uh, but also to know that, um, you know, we've, we've really been married 16 years. Uh, we yep. knew each other for almost five years prior to that. So that's 21 years, roughly. Mm -hmm. Wow. We've known yeah. each other for a long time. Yeah. And uh, I will say this, the, uh, the old adage about your first year of marriage being really hard. Uh, happened to be true for us yeah in a big way and uh, our first year was uh, really rough and uh, I think we we both um, had been single a long time for one thing mm -hmm. and uh, we didn't really know a lot about marriage I think that was the main issue <laughs> yeah we didn't and yeah. um, as much as our parents tried to, to help us in that area uh, growing up I just, I just think we just, we we were just very uh, ill-equipped starting out, and so it really, really started on a rough, rough yeah. note. Yeah, but. yeah, I, I definitely think um, now looking back, even you know more recently, in a greater way, I'm just like if I had had any idea how marriage was really supposed to work. If I would just seen yeah. marriage model, that would have been very helpful. Um, I never saw it up close and personal, like it, that I can recall. And then we even were the first, probably in our group of friends to get married. We were. So we didn't yeah. have like other friends that were make, getting married. And then I feel like early on, we kind of became like, you know, the, the leaders of different things and then at that point you're not really sharing about your marriage stuff with with the people underneath you like well not uh, just leaders we, we also I mean I had been in ministry for a few years up to that point to the time we got married and that makes you share unfortunately you feel like you can share a little bit less especially as a yeah, younger that's what I'm pastor saying. like you, you know and I, I can even remember us trying to reach out in, in a different season to like an older pastor um, and, you know, not realizing that that was going to be someone that we could even look to to help with that. So everyone, I think, in ministry to some extent, um, there's definitely some people out there that are going to help you no matter what, but yeah. they like to keep it close and personal and yeah. not put it out there. Um, even one-on-one. -on -one. So so you spend a lot of time thinking, uh, we are the only ones that are dealing with this. And then the additional layer of shame from being pastors in full-time ministry. Oh my gosh. Um, it's it's just be, like... Uh, it's just awful. Yeah. Because so. you feel like you're supposed to be perfect for people, and I know that that is not true. But you want to be. But you want to be. You want to be a yeah. better... You, you want to be better than you are no matter how you are. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Which is uh, another conversation. Which actually, I feel freed up from that. <laughs> Karen is very comfortable sharing No, I'm just saying, like, I, I am just doing the best I can. <laughs> so, and that's yeah. okay. Yeah, no. I, and marriage, well, too. I think after a while, that becomes the issue is that, you know, we're, extremely comfortable with sharing about where we are and yeah the victories along the way as well um, but people kind of become part of your your world closely and um, 
in kind of a public setting, but this isn't just a conversation about public because uh, the, the work that we've put in has not been public, it's been very private. Yes, that's and, true. Um, and a big part of my soul uh, getting healthy, and yours as well, Yeah. I don't want to speak for you, but based on our past conversations, Depends on what you say. Um, has been uh, working on our marriage. Yes. Because, um, you know, the two become one flesh, clearly, as Scripture tells us. And, and it does. You kind of, you can lose yourself. Where do I start? And you begin, and you end, and I start. And um, it, it does become a challenge, especially after, like, a, you know, that first year of marriage, we picked up a lot of bad habits trying to figure it out through trial and error. Yes. Yeah. And, uh I kind of thought that those things, we'd kind of left those things in the past. And mm -hmm. one big thing that I learned was the longer that we were married, the more those things got incorporated into our mindsets. Yeah. I was going to say, I never, I don't think I ever thought we left it in the oh, past. I was just pretending that I had, maybe. <laughs> yeah, you were pretending. <laughs> That's good. I was hoping. Yeah. Um, so what did we do to... Um, well, ultimately, and it's, I think it's fair to say uh, that our marriage, whenever I, uh, some of you probably know my backstory is in uh, beginning of 2007, January 2007, I got diagnosed with 17. Uh, 2017 <laughs> uh, with a serious one, health happen. issue. And at that time, our marriage was really in a, a difficult spot at the same time. And um, it just exacerbated everything. We got to a really bad uh, place um, where we were seeking counseling, and and uh, we were we were both questioning if the marriage was going to make it. Yeah. And uh, that might be hard for you to hear, but um, that's just an honest place that we were. And uh, I'm glad that we lived to tell the story. Yeah, I am too. I feel like, um, I, I, I mean, I can remember vividly, like, feeling like I was standing on the brink of being divorced. And it took that for me to say to myself, like, whatever it takes, I, I want to stay married. One of the, the thoughts I had was um, that as just like I feel like I had come into marriage ill-equipped that was like the last thing I really wanted for my kids absolutely and, and yeah. I don't know I don't know if it's the Lord giving me the ability to play out scenarios in my head and I almost feel like I could see it and live it it was like I definitely don't want that and it was it, so I feel like sometimes it's like, you know, you do these hard things over time and change happens. And then sometimes it's like the Lord just like can arrest you in a moment yeah. um, and you have immediate heart change. And I don't even know how to explain when he does well, one or the had, other. We had a moment. We did. Yeah, we there definitely was, did. Um, you know, uh, I've found in my life, my walk with God, there are, there are moments that God kind of steps in and um and we had a moment like that because we, we were both committed to mm -hmm. the marriage there was never a moment where you know one was not committed and the other one was committed or it was we wanted to make it work we just couldn't we couldn't work together we could not yes yeah, so we could not it gets to feel hopeless so you're like yeah so you're both feeling like you know it's not one feeling like that it's both of us feeling the same and yeah. And um, we went out to uh, Redding, California to go visit some good friends of ours out there at a, at a church there called Bethel Church. And in the process of visiting with a couple, that uh, an older couple that we just had admired so much and still do. And uh, yeah. they, uh, they didn't know about what was going on with us and they sat down and we're just super transparent about some struggles that they had been having that they had questioned divorces as well and I just remember like at the table like them it was at a dinner table 
and them telling us that they were they had contemplated this and they had made it back and that they had struggled but they they decided to just move forward it was like Terry and I just looked at each other and we're just like because this was like a model couple I, like to us anyway from our vantage point well not just that like I that yeah they were and or they are but yeah. also I just remember like being like, oh wow, like somebody else would, Somebody else is would, being honest would with us. contemplate that yeah. too. Like I had no idea. I just thought we were broken. Like, and they and they were like, I remember on the other side of the table, I won't mention who the couple was, but I mean they were like, they were crying while they were telling us how they had contemplated this and, and God had helped them and everything. And I, I don't know how else to say it, not to sound super spiritual about it but like something just changed, changed. Yeah. and I I mean we cried with them it was like yeah it was like happened. a real um, breaking honest moment in the marriage transparency is just it's just so powerful you know and, and that was probably the first couple we had allowed yeah to share personally with us and us share with them because at this point what do we have to lose <laughs> and so that's something that I look back on and and I think you know we could have done that like sooner than that moment we could have but you know it was, I mean, it does, it was time it very hard. well and not many folks were willing to have that kind of conversation because we had talked to other people about yeah, marriage. that's true. That is true. They just, um, it wasn't a regular thing. It was like And a, not that we wish that they would have had that bad experience so that they could see the change in us. It would just, just kind of happen. It, it was like this amazing couple that we trust and admire and, you know, in every way. Yeah. As mentors, really. And, and to hear that they had, and this was like... Um, as they were sharing it with us, it was very recent from the time that they shared it with us. It was just such a breath of fresh air, and I think that just showed us, you know what, we can do that. I, I, I just walked away from that table just determined. I was like, we are going to make this work. We had a moment where we were like, we are going to figure this out. And I think it just changed our hearts mm -hmm. in unison in a way that, I had not experienced before. Yeah, I see. And, um, mm -hmm. and from that point forward, it's like everything started just syncing up. And uh, we started yeah. walking and praying together mm -hmm. soon after that at the direction of another couple. Yeah. I feel like I learned the difference in um, what a weight going through marriage stuff can feel like in your life. Like, it, it like almost overshadows all of your world versus when you are like um, pursuing to you know have a good relationship you have mistakes but you're you're like we're on the same team no matter what yep. what a force that can be and I started to be able to feel the difference so it was like I would rather fight for being on the same team not like in a dishonest way but just like we're we're on the same team like he's for me I'm for him yes um, that just started to be such a difference. It was like everything felt easier and lighter with that mindset versus the mindset it's like, oh, what am I going to do with this person? <laughs> Why won't they just change? Like, I stopped thinking like about change and I, I wanted to be accepted for who I was. And so it made it where it was like, well, I have to accept him for who he is. And, and he's, he's a good person. I know, I know him. And so it made such a difference in how much easier life got. And when you're facing uncertainties and, they, and big challenges, to be on the same team together is way, way more helpful than to be fighting each other and the world. So um, it really has made a huge difference for sure. Just that one moment conversation. Not just that moment, but was a huge turning the belief point. and faith we had as a result of that moment too yeah because we walked away with like all right we're we're in it to win it um which we always were up to that difficult season but um 
And, I've, and I have been so excited to see um, patterns or, um, you know, just different uh, ways that we've had triggers or responded to each other, seeing that those actually can change. Like, they do. They can. It just takes work and intentionality. Intentionality. Yeah. I, I think it's less on the work side. It's more on the intentionality, you know. Marriage is the opposite of selfishness. And... Um, you know, we were we were very selfish, yeah, relationally, and um, yeah. and so changing from that took intentionality. It actually was the work was not like rigorous. It yeah. was more it just constant reminders and yeah. And I think our walking and praying at night has been yeah such it's a helpful. game changer because we we'll, we we walk and pray after we put our kids to sleep every night. Don't worry, we walk close to our house and they know where we are, so we're not leaving our kids. Mostly they're sleeping. <laughs> and um, we walk in front of our house, up and down our street. and Which and we got that from the couple fr that shared with us. They did that. Yeah. And, that was one um, of the big takeaways I had. And that's just been so huge because the first 15 or 20 minutes we'll just kind of talk about the day. Um, just kind of catching up, like this happened, this happened. It's usually all pretty positive stuff. Some days it's, you yeah, know, this some days was rough. It's not. <laughs> you know. But then we, we wrap up, obviously, with praying for each other and praying for all the stuff that we lifted up that was concerning, praying for whatever we were praying for the night before or the week before. And, and we've seen God really move in that. And mm -hmm. I think that's been encouraging is that the two of us inviting God in intentionally has been... Oh, just huge uh, for both of us. Yeah, because, I mean, even if there's something that maybe we were like had a harder conversation that day or frustrated about, um, and we get to that point where we're going to walk and pray, like you're not <laughs> you got to resolve it. I know, which part of me was like, oh, I don't want to have to do this. But then it just ends up being getting better it. about it. Dang. We're both type A as well, so. I don't even it. know what I am anymore. You are. Okay. Well, I love you. Love you too, babe. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that right. was needed after that conversation. We're going to be fine. We talked about marriage and we made it. We did. Well, I hope you got something out of this. Um, this is our third time talking in the show the whole life. And uh, if you enjoyed it, please uh, share it if it helped you. Uh, if you think it could encourage or help somebody else. And if you're going through a rough time in your marriage right now, I would just encourage you. God is with you. Uh, don't give up. Um, you can do it. Uh, we've been there to the edge of the cliff. And now I don't even know where the cliff is because we're so far away from it now. Yeah. And uh, really in, in one of the best seasons of marriage that, that we've ever had. I and, feel like um, my heart goes out when I see someone that looks like they're on the cliff. Yeah. Like, I'm just like, oh, my heart goes out yeah. to them. Yeah, well, we pray for a lot of those couples yeah. at, at night when we walk and pray. Yes, so if you're there, please don't lose hope. Be encouraged. God is with you, and uh, he's not just there with you. He's the third part of your marriage. There's three people in that marriage, and he wants to help you. Okay, well, join us next time for the whole life. See you guys.